And this was the picture we took of him before we were able to trap him. But here is Oliver. This is what Oliver looked like before. He is in excellent hands and he is being cared for and bathed and medical care. So this is Oliver and Oliver is going to be coming to Ark of Grace. So let me tell you the story now behind Oliver. So six months ago in August, I had a dream. The Lord gave me a dream. And I saw a long haired orange cat on our property and the water was rising on our property. And this cat was very sick and it had half a tail. So I have this dream in August and I see this cat. Two weeks ago, this cat appeared on our property limping. Now I tell you, animals just show up here. The Lord sends them when they're in desperate need of help. The Lord sends them. And so this cat showed up on our property two weeks ago limping. And um, I instructed the workers here to start feeding him. I said, because we have to gain his trust if we're going to help him. Well, he got so weak that one of the people who work here was able to grab him. And we what, they actually were able to do this while I was away. So I get a call from Anna and... They have him in a cage and he's rushed to an emergency room up here. Well, what happened was they wanted to euthanize him immediately. And the Lord said to me in my spirit, no, no. So I listened and I told them, no, I'm sorry. You're not going to euthanize him. I want you to treat him and give him a fighting chance. So basically they, in a way, reluctantly treated him, but they said, don't worry, we'll take good care of him. And in the morning, uh, Anna went and got him and he was taken to one of the best animal emergency in hospital uh, facilities. And that is down near Brewster, New York. And so he was taken there and I kept hearing the name Oliver even before he showed up. So I'm like, well, he's supposed to be Oliver. So they at this emergency room where they actually keep animals admitted, like in a real hospital, are amazing. And they not only treated him, they said, no, 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 he does not need to be euthanized. We are going to treat him first and see what we're dealing with. Well, Oliver had sepsis. He had um, intestinal. He was fighting some intestinal issues. He was filled with parasites, they said, and he was so mangy from being outside for so long. So they gave him a bath. They started him on fluids to rehydrate him and antibiotics and other medications. Today, we got a wonderful report. Praise God. Um... And he had no bathroom issues today. He's eating very well. And he's been in the hospital probably now about a week, maybe. I'd say he's been on almost a week. And they just informed me today that he is ready to come home over the next few days. So we have prepared a place for Oliver. We actually have an alcove in the basement that is quite large. And we have prepared that place for him. We have a door in place. So then he can stay away from the other animals for now. But they can all kind of smell each other and know each other in the house. And he needs uh, quite a bit of work still. He has to get fixed. We have to deal with half of his tail. Um, because they said we may have to amputate his tail. And there's also a tooth they have to deal with. So Oliver is coming to Ark of Grace. And when he comes, I will do a video. And I will make sure that all of you get to see it. And so whether he stays with us or we rehabilitate him and he goes to a wonderful home, we shall see. But the Lord sent this cat because this cat was in desperate need of help. Please pray there is another cat that has recently appeared that is limping and having a very hard time. We actually have traps set out for this cat to try to get her and Guardian said they would take her. So basically, um, or the vet clinic or whoever we can find would take her. So basically, this is the story of that. And um, Oliver got a wonderful bath and he has gotten the best care. These people are wonderful. Do you know the doctor calls and updates you twice a day? I mean, they do it just like, you know, a, a normal hospital should do if they're a good one, which is hard to find right now. But anyway, so I wanted to update you on that. Uh, praise the Lord for that. I also wanted to show you 
I wanted to do a couple of things here. On Monday, February 28th, we are going to be down in Brooklyn, New York, doing Grace and Glory Live from Rocco's Bakery. I believe it's on 4th Avenue in Brooklyn, New York. Um, you can email us, too, if you need to uh, sign up, if you're able to get there. But we will be doing Grace and Glory from down there. We're looking looking very forward to be back, being back in the burrows. So I'm excited about that. I wanted to show you this, too. So I'm going to put this up. Okay, here we go. So if you go to MyPillow.com, you can use promo code ARC. You save up to 66% off of MyPillow products. Now, I wanted to show you, because we have quite a few of these here. This is the my pillow bed. This is uh, this isn't even the largest one they have. This is their like I think their medium one. The animals fight over it. Missy and the pig go at it over this bed, meaning like they're like, you know, it's like WWE wrestling with them because they both want the bed. So I wanted to show you this just so you can see what it looks like. This is tan, they have gray, they have brown. But yeah, it's got like, you know what I mean? It needs to be washed, of course, ours because it's very used. But I wanted to show that to you just so you could see it and get a feel for it, because we, we get a lot of inquiries about the my pillow bed. So we just wanted to make sure that you are able to see that. And one more before we get into this, if you go to time to freeamerica.com and use promo code grace, you could also call uh, the next reawaken America stop is San Diego. You can also call and use promo code grace. So uh, they made a promo code actually for us and gave it to us. So I just wanted to put that up quickly as well for the reawaken America tour. Okay. We're done. I know people are asking to see the my pillow bed. So we're just, we're just showing it to you, you know? So we just want to make sure you see it and uh, you understand why we love it so much because I got a lot of animals in this house and they need beds. So praise the Lord for that. Now, let me see what I want to do here as far as prayer shawls, because we have quite a few on here. Okay. Oh, Lord, we just ask, I'm just seeing this on chat. Lord, the people that are working in hospitals right now, Father God, that know you. Lord, just protect them and keep them right now, Father God. Give them wisdom in the middle of this mess and what is happening, Father, in Jesus' name. Okay, so now let's get into this. We're going to get into some heavy-duty stuff here. So get ready, get ready. Okay, now what I want to get into first is that Russia, right on time, has invaded Ukraine. They have officially invaded. The Lord had warned this was coming. There is a reason for this that is going to reveal itself. Um, I don't think Putin is going to go up well against Almighty God. Neither does Chet. There he is. And so this is something that is going into March, which is when Purim happens on the Jewish calendar from the book of Esther, when Haman tried to annihilate the Jews and he got the king involved and there was a divine reversal. So going into Purim, going into March, we're seeing this invasion happen. So I'm going to read the words from the Lord having to do with Russia right now that have been given going all the way back to last April. Now it's before that too, but these are the ones I think that are really pertinent to what we see happening now. So get ready, everyone, get ready. Because we're going to see some, some shakeups around the world. So let's begin by, and then we're going to get into the new insights. So then we're going to get into new things that I have not shared yet that I'm going to share tonight. So April 2nd, 2021, and says the spirit of the Lord this day, the dragon shall make a strong advance at sea with the backing of Persia in order to steal and take territory not theirs to claim. Now, there are reports now that China is going after certain areas, uh, perhaps Taiwan. I think I heard Taiwan. So just keep that in mind, that first part. So why the Lord shall stir up the waves and cause catastrophe to hit those ships as many will turn around. Now, he goes on and says, and says the spirit of the Lord this day, a bomb in Russia 
watch and see will cause opposition to arise against former allies and against Iran alike as a major event in Russia causes a bear, bear is capitalized, B-E-A-R, of an issue, says the Lord of Hosts. This is April 2nd, 2021, when this is set. Then this goes on, and I'll show you here. Now we jump to November 22nd, 2021. And says the spirit of the Lord this day, Russia is restless. The bear is awakening from somewhat of a slumber. Calls him a bear again. Watch Russia make a bold in capitals move that shall put other countries on high alert. The Lord's talking about this invasion. As Russia perceives the weakness of other nations and sees its chance to advance. It was 10 days after that word that troops were first reported at the border in Russia, that Russian troops were beginning to pile up at the border of Ukraine. So the Lord is warning right here. Now, what happens when a bear wakes up from hibernation? They're hungry and they're aggressive. So the Lord is making that comparison to Russia. They're hungry and they're aggressive. He's warning there and he says they're going to make a bold move. That bold move happened today. I believe it was today or yesterday when they officially invaded. February 7th and 8th, 2022. And says the spirit of the Lord this day, another country shall arise in the midst of the tensions in the area of the world where Russia resides. Another country shall arise and this country shall make a lot of noise, shall be very vocal, shall stand up to the ones who want to overpower, overtake and acquire, key word, all capitals, what is not for sale, says the Lord of hosts. And he goes on. And says the spirit of the Lord this day, thus capitalized. A horn shall arise in the mist. They shall attempt to exalt their horns, capitalized, says the Lord of hosts. Watch Spain in the mist, says the Lord of hosts. Why this is important is you have to keep your eyes on Europe right now that this has happened. Watch what happens across Europe. Because this is going to be like a, a, a tidal wave, a domino effect that happens. The Lord goes on. There are those in Congress who are speaking out against the tensions of Russia and China, that blasphemous dragon and Ukraine. However, capital says the Lord of hosts, they have had secret meetings by computer with the consulates and advocates and ministers of these leaders and have secretly struck a deal and are doing such and opening up avenues of great monetary value and great weaponry and great capital technology in order to make a deal for such. For they are casting lots. There's the clue. That has to do with poor. They are casting lots, capitals, for Ukraine. The Hamans are casting lots, capital, for Ukraine. For they have foolishly thought they had the power of others going forth with them. In the middle of the word have is the number two. And there's and after the word have is the number two. And then there's the number 12. So just keep that in the back of your mind. For they have foolishly thought they had the power of others going forth with them, that they have no opposition to such. However, capital says the Lord, the book of Esther, just watch. The number 55 is in there too. Just watch, says the Lord, just watch. For you shall and will see divine reversals and sudden changes in course that shall begin to lead things in an unexpected direction, says the Lord of hosts. And the Lord goes on. The explosiveness has just begun as a string of eruption shall occur both from within the earth and around the world. This is one of those eruptions. What's happening now, says the Lord of hosts. And he goes on the Lord. As so my people under the leadership of Esther and Mordecai so rose up, so girded their loins and readied themselves under the threat of total destruction. And I, the Lord your God, went before. Went forth before Esther. I went forth before Mordecai. I went forth and exposed the plot that was birthed from an abuse of power or an abuse of power and a corrupted desire to be king and oust who was on the throne. A shifting of plates near Russia. The ground shall shake beneath them, says the Lord of hosts. And an Ayatollah is about to blow all capitals, says the Lord of hosts. As prideful men have risen up have risen upon their podiums to demonstrate their strength. However, I, the Lord of hosts, shall send a wind to knock them over. 
The process shall not be sped up, but shall complete its full work and intention as their skirts are being lifted above their heads and their nakedness exposed. Such a scandal and such shame for the lead, that leader of China that he shall become a laughing stock to his own people, a spectacle, a spectacle before the world as his plans will not only flop but fall. I shall make a show of him, says the Lord. Just watch what happens between China and Russia as their power shall wane as well in a series of events. I, the Lord, shall shake these paper doll leaders in this hour as they have overstepped. And now I, the Lord, shall trample their plans. So this is February. I believe it was February 2022. Now, we have another one. January 27th, 2022. So we're going to back it up a month here. And says the Lord of hosts. Now, I'm going to see here. Battleships, battleships, watch and see, says the Lord, as restlessness within nations turns to altercations of not so familiar enemies who at one point were allies, now turned because of sour deals in ammo and stocks promised that there was never delivery. Watch for a sudden turn in the page of this story as some leaders will even beat their chests in a grand showing to hide their weaknesses, says the Lord of hosts. The crash will be loud, says the Lord of hosts. Crashes are necessary to break what is corrupt, to bring low what has lifted themselves up in their hearts and spoke forth, quote, we are untouchable, we are on high. And says the Lord of hosts, I shall bring you down low, O leadership, O house. I shall bring you down low, O Russia, as you snarl looking to advance upon prey. I, the Lord thy God, am wrestling the bear, and their leadership shall suffer yet another strike and a blow to the head for their advancement against such. The Lord is warning right here they're going to do it. He was warning back in November they were going to do this. And those who are secretly backing them in this maneuver shall be exposed. That was January 27th, 2022. So almost a month ago. So watch this is not over with russia this is not over between russia and the lord and putin and the lord in this this is not over there's way more than meets the eye pray for the people of ukraine right now for their protection and watch europe the lord specifically mentioned spain but watch europe and what happens in the middle of this seriously watch what happens because when the lord calls them paper doll leaders paper is thin it is weak because in god's eyes they are weak they're mortal and god is not so this is not over we're coming into purim on the jewish calendar the lord specifically referenced the book of esther when talking about this issue with russia so just watch because this whole thing is not over russia is saying one thing there's other things going on in Ukraine. You may see a little bit of both come out, but the Lord warned this was going to happen. But the Lord has other issues with Russia, specifically who their allies are, specifically who they're making deals with. So there's way more than meets the eye here with this, why the Lord has issues with Russia, okay? Because Russia likes to play nicey-nice with those that want to, quote, blow Israel off the map. And so God has issue with the, with, the, with the alliances Russia has chosen to make. Now, Congress, members of Congress are not innocent in this. The Lord said they've had meetings by computer with the consulates and the ministers and the, they've had meetings with them way ahead of time to try to make deals and open up avenues and they're going to come out as complicit so this is just there's a lot to this i would not trust what completely what putin is saying i would not trust completely what biden is saying i would not trust a lot of people that are embroiled in the middle of this right now because bears if the Lord keeps calling Russia a bear, bears 
are vicious for two reasons. When they're incredibly hungry and are woken up from hibernation or protecting their young. When a bear feels threatened, it advances. So when the Lord is giving the imagery of Russia as being the bear and waking up from a slumber and making a bold move, there is more that's going to come out as to why he's calling the bear and why they've chosen this point in time to do what they're doing. Okay. You can't completely trust what they're saying because bears can't be trusted. Bears are vicious. You wouldn't just walk right up to a bear and expect that a bear isn't going to lunge at you. So there's way more to this um, than meets the eye. Now, there could be a lot of back office stuff going on with this that we don't know. Okay, so there we could there could be mixed reasons going on here why Putin is doing this. Okay, M partly motives may be somewhat good, and partly motives may be somewhat corrupt. This is all going to come out in the wash, though. But what the Lord did warn is that they were going to do this, and ten days after He warned this in November, the troops were at the border. There is way more hidden with this we don't see yet that is going to come out. The story is going to come out. The truth is going to come out. Um, there is a lot circulating right now, and that's why you have to be in prayer, and we have to watch how this plays out. But the Lord has given clues in this. The Lord has given clues, meaning the Lord sees what they're really doing behind the scenes, who they're really making alliances with, the real reason why they're attacking Ukraine, what their motives are, Okay, the Lord knows he sees it. And so we have to look at the word and we have to pray on it and we have to watch how it plays out. But if he's calling Russia a bear in this, okay, there's a reason for this. There's more than one reason. So keep that in mind that this is got a lot of twists and turns in it. The, the, this has a lot of twists and turns with it. And we may think we may know, and we may think Putin's freeing this, or we may think Biden's doing that. But ultimately, there is so much hidden behind this that we have to watch and we have to pray right now. Because when we think back, Biden's son, I believe, was involved with certain companies in Ukraine. We have to understand, too, when it comes to world history, countries like Iran and Russia and others, when they perceive the United States as weak, you see them try to advance. Now, it's going to be interesting to see what Israel does in the middle of this, because Israel may get involved in the middle of this, especially if Iran has the backing of Russia right now. I think right now, China, Iran, and Russia are making a triangle. They've made a triangular agreement, and we're going to watch Israel's actions closely in this amidst all of this. So this was, um, watching this unfold, A, is fascinating. B, we have to be in prayer and can't think we know the whole story. And the whole deal, because this is such a mangled knot of so many different angles that we're just going to have to watch this unfold as we pray. Um, and but we have to remember, too, not all of Russia's motives may be pure in this either. So this is a very convoluted e eruption right now, we'll say, going on in this part of the world now. Watching Europe and watching Israel is key right now. I think those are the two areas we have to watch the most and how they react to this. Okay? So we shall see. We shall see. Be in prayer. But I do find it interesting that when this invasion happens, a very large storm is about to hit the United States of America. So I find just that all not a coincidence. Not a coincidence at all. So just pray and watch. And you can go on. Uh, we'll put this up on the blog so you could read these excerpts from the prophetic words. Because there's a lot in there that the Lord is saying with this. There's a reasons he's talking about Purim. There's reasons 
He talks about Russia shaking. There's reasons he's talking about Russia, Iran, and China all at the same time. You see, there's reasons for all of this. And this is why we have to pray. Because we need discernment and wisdom in this to see beyond that iron curtain what really is going on in the back office here. So just continue to pray for them as we as we watch and uh, we watch this unfold, truly. Yes, you know, in, in God's word, I believe it's in the book of Matthew, he talks about there will be wars and rumors of wars. And we have certainly seen that um, many times. Many times, Six-Day War, World War I, World War II. We've had other wars. We're now seeing this unfold. But interestingly enough, when Trump was president, Putin did not do this. So I find that very telling as well. Why? We'll see. But when Trump was president, we did not see Putin make this type of bold, aggressive advance on Ukraine. Yes, thank you. Purim is March 16th to the 18th. We are about to enter the month of March. That's when Purim is on the Jewish calendar. It falls on our calendar March 16th through 18th. And then we go into Passover in mid-April. So that is really the fact this is happening now going into this month. Um, I find not only fascinating, but in a way right on time, right on time. Okay. So let's move on now. Just please keep the people of Ukraine in prayer um, and just pray as you watch. It's a fascinating time to be alive. It is prophetically an incredible time to be alive. And this also provides, in some ways, Russia invading Ukraine, it, it could potentially be a distraction. Now, the Lord did say there were going to be eruptions around the world, both within the earth and in the world. So this is one of those spouts and eruptions that we see happening right now. Now, things could have gotten very corrupt in Ukraine and Russia may have a very serious interest in some things in Ukraine that it feels like it needs to protect. Um, I believe they did take over the nuclear power plant in Chernobyl. I believe they are. Russia is currently occupying Chernobyl right now. So I find that interesting as well. Chernobyl is coming back into play. And actually, we're going to do this live. There was a word given about this. There was a word, I believe, given about watching Chernobyl. So I'm going to type it in right now. You can actually search keywords in. But I remember at one point discussing hearing Chernobyl and that Chernobyl was going to come back into play. So let's see here. I'm going to search this while we're live because I think this is important for us to look into. Okay. Let's see. I might have said it on grace and glory. We will search for it and see what we can find for you. But I remember hearing it. I'm going to see if we can go back and find it for you uh, because I know it was said. I know I heard Chernobyl and I discussed it. I potentially discussed it on Ark of Grace, it's interesting that Biden has come out, um, you know, with this could be an act warning Russia of consequences. But yeah, Russia is about to overtake Chernobyl. I had spoken about Chernobyl from the Lord, hearing it, that it was going to come back into play. Um, and the real underbelly of the reason this is happening will surface. It will absolutely surface. Um, so stay tuned, everybody. Stay tuned because things are getting real, real interesting. Okay. Now, let's go on. We have a lot to talk about here. I'm going to talk about two dreams that I had that are kind of pointing at something here. It's pointing at a couple things, and I know it's deeper than this, and the Lord may reveal more in time, but let's talk about it. On February 12, 2022, I had a two-part. This dream was actually in three parts, but two parts are what I'm going to talk about now. The first part of the dream was that New York Jets players were on trial. 
There was a thin woman with short blonde hair who was accusing them. There were three on trial, two players and one maybe wife or girlfriend or something of that nature. This woman with short blonde hair was in a black suit. She was very thin. Uh, she watched their testimony from a back room on a TV screen. This woman then gets into what appears to be a, a tan luxury vehicle and looked at those standing around who appeared to be press and said, quote, no one understands what they are really like. She also had a sloped nose. She had fuller lips. She was wearing a black suit. She had blonde hair to here, and she was thin. Now, the other part of this dream, Tesla comes into play. I was told Tesla is being sued by, quote, the price is right. Now, you're going to laugh, but Bob Barker was standing there. Now, I think the Lord did that just to A, because he was corrupt, and B, to, to pinpoint something for me, that both the New York Jets and The Price is Right is on the CBS network. CBS's logo is the I. So there is a common thread here of CBS. They play almost all the Jets games on their network, and The Price is Right was on CBS. Okay, it's it still may have gone on uh, without Bob Barker. But CBS somehow has their hands potentially, A, in something very corrupt that has to do with football, specifically the New York Jets, and B, with Tesla. So I would watch CBS, this network, in the right now. I would just keep it in the back of your mind about CBS because something is coming with them that is going to be enormous. So just pray and watch. That's all I'm going to say about that. I know there's more to this dream, and as it comes out, we will discuss it. Now, moving on, I wanted to get as well into Medina Spirit. I had mentioned this horse First, back in May, I believe it was, of 2021, there was a huge scandal that surrounded this horse. Medina is the second holiest city for Muslims in Saudi Arabia. Medina spirit was symbolic of what was trying to take over the country, our nation, the United States. Medina spirit was it was had an illegal substance put into it, the horse did, uh, in this number because they draw blood work on the horses and they test their levels to make sure there's no illegal substances being put in them. And this horse tested positive for an illegal substance. This horse won the Kentucky Derby by its owners and trainer cheating to win a title. Okay. And then we got into that symbolically for the nation cheating to win a title and how this is running tandem of what's going on in this nation. And and we are not den, done prophetically yet with this horse. This horse was going to resurface. The horse did resurface when at the age of three, Medina Spirit in December died. Died. No race horse dies at three years old. I'm sorry, unless there's foul play or you have given that horse way, way, way too much of a substance that ends up killing it. So this horse at three years old dies. An article comes out and it was February 22nd, 2022 that this comes out. Two, 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 two. Kentucky Derby winner Medina Spirit stripped of 2021 title after failed drug test. So the horse wins by cheating. The trainer is suspended. The horse dies and now has been stripped of its title. This, I'm telling you, the way this went down is prophetic for what's going to happen in this nation. I'm telling you, you know how I know too? Because when American Pharaoh won the Triple Crown, me and Barbara discussed this about how this was symbolic of Obama wanting to become the American Pharaoh and go for the triple crown in the third term. And in a way, he is running a third term because he's behind the scenes puppeting a lot of what we see. So enter Medina Spirit. 
but's trying to take over the nation. So now we see that this horse has been stripped of its title. Just keep that in mind. Stripped of its title. Male horse, stripped of its title because they cheated to give the horse an edge to win when the horse shouldn't have won. That is what we are seeing happen in this nation. That's what we're seeing happen. This is going to run in tandem and we are going to see something similar, I think, happen. So this, I'm telling you, this horse is going to keep coming back up. So just keep watching, praying about this because we're going to see something very similar happen that we saw with this horse because it is, people think, oh no, there's no way. Let me tell you something. When American Pharaoh, the Triple Crown, Obama, I believe, was in office. So there are things that prophetically go on that people laugh and they discount away and they mock. And then it comes back full circle into play. So just watch this horse. That's all I'm going to say. Then with the story having to do with this horse as it runs parallel to the nation. Now. On February 16th, 2022, this was interesting. The Lord spoke to me and said, you catch more flies with honey than you do with vinegar, dot, dot, dot. However, capital, vinegar is a clean, is a cleaning agent. It destroys bacteria that carries infection. Vinegar is also a natural agent. This is the time of the vinegar, not of the honey. So that was spoken to me on February 16th, 2022. This is the time of the vinegar, not of the honey. So, and it's a natural cleaning agent. So this is the time of the cleansing of the deep clean is what we're seeing. So that is something I think fascinating. That's very profound that the Lord spoke to me as well. As far as Medina spirit goes, they did not reveal why he passed away. I don't believe they disclosed it, which makes it even more suspicious uh, to me because people are asking in the chat what he passed away from. We really don't know. I don't believe, but we will. I believe that'll come out too. Okay. Now, February 18th, 2022, I write down in my notebook, I have notebooks that I keep all over the house and I take with me. So if I hear something from the Lord, I can write it down. And this is what I heard on February 18th, 2022. The government shall collapse on itself. One leader, heart failure. And then I heard a mega church pastor in not a good way shall be tied and linked to Trudeau in Canada. I hear after this and write down a boil in the ocean. A strange event on an island, a phenomenon shall strike. They shall say, quote, how unusual. It shall provoke those in the world of science. Okay. What The other thing I heard on February 18th was the U.S. government is secretly sending resources to Trudeau to try and crush the convoy as there is much concern how it can grow in the U.S., a force to be reckoned with. Let me encourage you, the people of Canada, you stand firm right now. You stand in your faith. You stand in your conviction. The Lord has not abandoned you. The Lord thy God is with you. And you're going to see incredible events. We are on the cusp of it in Canada. So praise the Lord for that. Now, there was also something spoken to me about, let me see something here. Because we're about to get into something really fascinating in a moment. There was something spoken to me, and let me see if I have it in here, about prisoners being freed. About the Lord freeing prisoners. Yes, it's on the... Okay, let me go to the other document here that I have. We're going to go back for a moment here. I want to see if I have it here. The Lord spoke about prisoners being freed. He spoke about this recently. And I would watch because they are going to be 
freed, including pastors in Canada. So keep that in mind. I'm saying that right now. Praise be to almighty God, including pastors in Canada. Okay, when I find it, I will make sure that I share it because the Lord is going to free prisoners in this hour too. He's freeing prisoners. Praise be to almighty God. Okay, let me make sure it's not in the rest of this notebook. I may actually have it written in my tablet. I will double check for all of you um, to see because I think it's just fascinating to, I don't know, to entertain that right now. The fact that that is going to happen and that is going to go on. Now, I'm just making sure I'm getting through everything before we get into something really fascinating having to do with the serpent. Okay, now... What happens is, around the 15th of February, the Lord speaks to me. I was reading scripture that had to do with Ephesus and what was going on in Ephesus at the time of Paul. The Lord, through this, leads me to the false, I call them false because they are, the false Greek god of medicine, whose name was Asclepius, A-S-C-L-E-P-I-U-S. The Greek god of medicine, the false Greek god of medicine, listen to this, the son of Apollo and the nymph Coronis. Coronis. Coronis, this false little spirit, it's really a demon, is tied to the false Greek god of medicine, is actually the, quote, mother in Greek mythology. So, interestingly enough, Coronis can mean a device, a device. Um, he has a staff with a serpent coiled around it. Okay. That is a symbol used even in medicine today is the staff with the serpent around it. Now, this is one of the main principalities eh, behind all of this. Okay. What you see transpiring in the medical field. But there's something more sinister at play here. A serpent in many ways is involved. Now, this all goes back to the same scheme from the Garden of Eden that was reinvented and reworked by the enemy. Now, how did he do this? Genesis chapter 3, verses 1 through 15, we're going to read. Now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, has God indeed said, you shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, which I find it interesting, Eve is not disturbed that this serpent can talk. We may eat the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, you shall not eat it, nor shall you touch it, lest you die. Then the serpent said to the woman, you will not surely die, for God knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Verse 6, so when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree desirable to make one wise, she took of its fruit and ate. She also gave to her husband with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both of them were open, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves coverings. And they heard the sound of the Lord walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Then the Lord God called to Adam and said to him, where are you? So he said, I heard your voice in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. And he said, who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you that you should not eat? Then the man said, the woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me of the tree and I ate. And the Lord God said to the woman, what is this you have done? The woman said, the serpent deceived me and I ate. So the Lord said to the serpent, because you have done this, you are cursed more than all cattle and more than every beast of the field. On your belly you shall go and you shall eat dust all the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your seed and her seed. And he shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his heal that was a prophecy right there about jesus i believe that was a prophecy about jesus right there coming so a serpent entwined around a tree which is similar to a staff 
tempts man by telling them that if they ingest what he is telling them to ingest, there will be no consequences and they will become like God and they will be protected. They will know good from evil. They will be safe. The serpent equates them ingesting what truly is toxic for them to gain some edge, to gain something that will make them more like God. However, ingesting of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil means death, because the Lord said, in the day you eat of it, you shall surely die. He warned them if they partake of that tree, they will surely die. The serpent convinced them through lies and deception and mixing a little bit of truth with a whole lot of lie that this was not harmful for them, that in fact it was helpful to them. Even though the Lord warned them, they listened to the serpent over God, thinking ingesting of this tree was going to elevate them and instead it brought death and suffering and trial and the ripple effects of such a decision even go into today. A talking serpent caused man to weaken and fall. A serpent on a tree, a serpent on a staff, the symbol of medicine today, the symbol of a false Greek god of medicine that was very popular at Ephesus, the symbol being utilized right now across the medical field. Asclepius whose mother by no coincidence was Coronis. That's no coincidence. I find that fascinating. Now, I'm going to tell you that I believe within the temple... Okay, so within the, this temple of this false Greek god, the physicians and attendants who served this God in the temple were called Therapeutae of Asclepius. Therapeutae is the Greek word that we get the word therapeutics from in the medical field. And these Therapeutae attendants and physicians who served in the temple of the false Greek God who had the serpent on the, on the staff would practice certain things in that temple they would practice certain rituals now the definition of the word therapeutic is of or relating to the treatment of disease or disorders by remedial agents or methods within that temple they had people brought in in groups who were sick who were coughing they had snakes slithering in the temple that they considered holy slithering amongst the people you got the snake on the staff you got the snake slithering amongst the people and you've got a bunch of sick people in a building that physicians and attendants are attending to sounds a lot like a hospital doesn't it that temple sounds an awful lot like a hospital so people would go there to seek healing they mold the body parts out of clay that they wanted healing for. They put it on an altar. They'd sacrifice an animal to this false Greek god. So the serpent is at the middle of all of this. More ways than one, this is going to come out, that the serpent is in the middle of all of this. How? We shall see. But I'm telling you, the Lord started talking to me about this before Ohio. And that fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil that the serpent entwined around the tree got them to eat was toxic for them. The same thing is happening now. You've got the field of medicine. You've got the serpent on the staff. You've got deceptions happening. You've got lies being told. You've got things happening. Is, this goes all the way back to the garden. This goes all the way back to that exchange between man and that serpent. But the serpent is going to rear its head and be exposed in more ways than one in this. This is why the Lord was talking to me about this. Because if he's telling me the serpent's in the middle of all this, and he led me to that false Greek God, that we're going to see in 
more than one way this come out. So stay tuned. Stay tuned because this is fascinating what is going to unfold with this. So praise the Lord that the Lord began to show me this before I went to Ohio and kind of took me on this prophetic connect the dots to show me that this is really embroiled in the middle of this. So pray for the doctors who are speaking out. Pray for us and pray for the wisdom for the Lord to show you because this we're just scratching the surface here. This is going to go beyond we're going to see the serpent in multiple ways surface in the middle of all of this because Satan wants to be worshipped just so bad. And the medical field wants to be what? Like God. Taking life, giving life, saving life. You see what I mean? When the serpent said entwined around the tree, oh, you'll be like God if you eat of this. The medical field has turned into that now playing God. They're playing God in a horrific way. And what did the Lord do when the serpent convinced them to ingest that fruit of that tree and they would be like God? He cursed the serpent. God cursed the serpent. Watch the medical field. Just watch. God cursed that serpent. We're going to see that happen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. But we're just scratching the surface here. So just be in prayer about this and um, ask the Lord for wisdom with this. And we will see what really happens here. But I'm telling you, that's going to come out. I'm just looking at the chat uh, briefly, but yes. Pray about Russia. There's way more than meets the eye here. There's a reason the Lord is using certain symbolism. There's a reason the Lord is calling Russia a bear. There is a reason he's referencing the book of Esther. We will put these prophecy excerpts up on the blog, Amanda Grace, the number for him.blogspot.com. We will put it up so you can just read it and pray about it because this goes very deep. And God is going to pull out of the deep of this and bring to the forefront and we're going to we're going to get a very clear picture all glory be to God of what's happening here. So all glory be to God. God deserves all the glory. We're merely vessels that he fills. That's all we are. Without God we're nothing. We're the dust of the earth. Without his breath of life in us we don't have life. So we give him all the glory, honor and praise for that. And I hope you've enjoyed this evening. I know we've gone we've covered a gamut of things prophetically but Praise the Lord. This is why we're doing this. And I'm going to continue to be in prayer. There's some other things um, that I'm praying about sharing and uh, pray for us because we are undertaking this enormous sanctuary expansion project. Um, we are building a 10 acre animal sanctuary. And ultimately, when it's all said and done, we want to bring parents with disabled children to the sanctuary to interact with the animals. That sanctuary is going to be anointed. The presence of God is going to rest there. And we want parents to bring their disabled children to interact with the animals and get some therapy, some animal therapy. So pray for us as we embark on this journey. Sometimes I think, I go, Lord, am I going crazy here? Because we have to deal with a move. We have to deal with building the sanctuary. I've got Chris who's got a brain injury in the middle of all of it. And, um, you know, consistency is key with brain injury. So a schedule and predictability and consistency is where they thrive best. Best, However, the Lord has another plan. So I am going in faith with God's plan. But I got to tell you, being Italian and Dave thinks Jewish, I look up at the Lord sometimes and I go, am I going nuts to even take this on? But you know what? God can do exceedingly abundantly above all we could ask or think according to the power at work within us so it takes faith and looking beyond your surroundings and going lord i don't know how but i trust you i know this is going to be a journey but i trust you i know this is going to take a lot of work but i trust you i know the enemy is mad right now and spitting just venom 
but I trust you. I trust you. So this is what we're embarking on. We're embarking on uh, this sanctuary expansion project because we need it, because we, in a way, have outgrown this property. And the Lord is sending more animals. He sent Oliver. I had a dream about this cat six months prior to him showing up. So the Lord is going to be sending many more animals. And this is his desire for this project to go forth. It's miraculous how we got this property to do this. So God is truly going before us in this. And it's going to take work, but I trust him. So all glory be to God for that. We're just going to very quickly put up Andrew, who has Beverly Hills Precious Metals. He is one of our approved businesses in our shop section on our website, ARK, A-R-K, of grace-ministries.com. We have many approved businesses there. We may be adding a couple of pet things soon. So we're working on that, but... You can go on our website. You can uh, email Andrew and call him. He has Beverly Hills Precious Metals. He is a believer. This is part of Defund the Swamp, Refund the Kingdom. There is a speed bump on the front. There is a speed bump on the front. There is a speed bump on the front. There is a speed bump on the front.